Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we are talking about crafting. Crafting is important in most and rice and it allows you to have a multitude of items in your disposal for your hunts. So it goes in tandem with gathering. Gathering materials will not always automatically craft you things like potions. Sometimes you need to craft them yourself. Going into the item box and manage items, you can go into your crafting list. And here you can see that you can craft certain items. The auto craft check mark is set there so that if you pick up po or herbs, it will automatically make you potions. And the mega potion here, the auto craft is set that if you have potions, and you collect honeys, it will automatically make you mega potions. So keep that in mind. If you, however, have 10 potions in your pouch already, it will not auto craft and you will collect that herb instead. If you have 10 mega potions, it will not create a 11th mega potion for you, it will just collect the honey instead. So here, on your screen there might be question marks. You might not be able to craft all of them that I have unlocked here. However, all you need to do is usually collect one or two items to craft certain item from here. For example, the antidote only needs antidote herbs in order for you to craft them. You can also craft by amount and select the amount you want to craft. Herbal medicine, on the other hand, needs the antidote as well as a blue mushroom. But here keep in mind that blue mushroom might be needed elsewhere, so you might not want to use them on herbal medicine. Let's try to find something that uses here. Life powder. Life powder is really good in multiplayer hunts, where you need to heal your friends as well as yourself. So make life powders one of the first things you want to collect. God box and blue mushrooms. This is pretty much the crafting recipe thing in Monster Hunter Rise. You can of course go through the different tabs like healing support, traps and offense and ammo and coatings. Alright, since we have a little bit more time, I will go through the motley mix from the canteen. This is similar to crafting, however, it allows you to do it through, uh, through the canteen. The motley mix here, you can give certain items to the canteen and they will give you in reward the crafted item from it. For example, raw meat, you can either cook it yourself or cook it here to make a well done steak. Blue mushroom will give you herbal medicines and something else. There are additional rewards of course by doing this and you might want to try them out to see for yourself what everyone gives. Let's try Combustuna, what it gives for me other than the gourmet fish. So I have six of them, might as well. Let's pay with money. Hand over. Nice. All right, so I got gourmet fish, I got energy drinks, and I got catalyst as well. Really cool. Really useful system if you want certain items really fast without the need of actually crafting them yourself. That's about it for this video. I will actually add another thing here. So once you use the Motley Mix, the Yomogi, the chef, will have some rewards for you. 
you will get the dangle tickets that way. And dangle tickets are really useful when you are using them for your meals. So here I will use a dangle ticket to increase the activation chance. And using the motley mix in tandem with eating and getting the dangle tickets, well, that's only a plus. Alright, that's about it for this video.